welcome to Seashorn Vlog and today it's a universal day. We're going to Universal Singapore. We're going to try out all the rides, try some of the food and there's one thing that I wanted to come to this um, park for, for one main reason while we're here and that's to watch Waterworld. I've been wanting to see that show for years. Have you? Yeah, ah. Waterworld. Should be fun. You're we like a Waterworld right now. <laughs> Sweating. We need to head in. It is very warm today. We're using the Go City Pass for this, so we need to exchange some tickets and then we'll head in and do some rides. Can't wait. We have made it into Universal Studios. We've got Caroline's Gap Pass, so that's the assistance pass that helps with queuing. That was really easy, just a couple of questions about the disability and the reason why and then what you're wearing and then the, the pass is all sorted, you enter the express queue for, for that. Um, if you're using the Go City Pass to come into Universal Studios Singapore, then you need to book it on the same day in the app and then you scan the QR code, that's the Go City Pass, on the ticket self-service ticket machine which is just outside the entrance. And then you get a printed ticket which they scan to come in to Universal. One thing I've noticed straight away as soon as coming in here is it smells of popcorn and it smells lovely because popcorn in the US is salty and not great but here it smells fantastic. What are your first impressions? Yeah, good. Um, the service was really good. Um, you even had my disability pass for the UK out ready to show them. What, I can't remember what that pass is called. The access card. The access card, yeah. Um, but it was the simple questions. What, what, what's wrong? What do you need it for? Um, and then they ask what we're wearing shorts wise. I think it's so that when you go to the ride, they can make sure it's definitely you that's using the correct pass. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this smells really nice. Not, not only popcorn, but there's just a nice smell in the air. Yeah. But everybody's Must so, be me. But even the guy coming in to get the passes this morning into the park was super helpful as well. Helped us get the tickets and everything. I think all along, just everything so far since we've been here the last few days has been like just extremely helpful. Let's go do some rides. Yeah. <laughs> when you come in, you get like an undercover sort of main studio type area with all of the shops, which we'll check out a little bit later. But first, we want to head this way to go on maybe that roller coaster. We will see. They're building a new area here, which is going to be the, the Minions Land. So we'll walk this way, I think. Past Mel's driving. All the familiar things, just in a different place. You, that's the pass, by the way. Just ridden Cylon and that was quite a, a nice coast at the start of the day. We need to get a drink now though because it is quite warm and then I'll jump on human but Cylon's an inverted coaster and it's only got a lap bar with like a thick uh, comfort colour but it, it's only really a lap bar and it wasn't particularly fast but it was quite like entertaining, just a nice roller coaster I think. Let's see what human's like. I've just ridden Human, and I think I preferred that over Cylon. Only just, only very slightly just. Human doesn't go upside down, it's a sit down rather than an inverted. But it's very, like just a nice, thrilling, fun, fun coaster. I also got front row on that one, I got back row on Cylon. So I could see the dueling aspect of the two a little bit more, which made it a bit more fun, I think. I'd, I'd ride that one a few more times. Cylon as well, but I think Human just pipped Cylon for me. Walking through the mummy area now. Next ride for me is going to be the Mummy, and then that's the big three coasters ticked off. And we can start doing some of the other stuff with Caroline. I can't video any of these rides in here, unfortunately. I have just ridden the Mummy. All the rides here, you can't take cameras on or anything like that, so I can't film anything on, on the rides here. Typical of Universal Parks, and not, not a surprise. 
The mummy, I think that's probably my favourite mummy out of the two that I've done. The one at Orlando and, and the one here. No Brendan Rogers in, the, in that one and the queue line was really, really good. It was funny because I sat down next to a group of girl, young, younger girls and the one sat beside me said, I apologise if I scream and then she screamed all the way through and then when we got off a friend rushed to the bin and threw up. So, yeah, a little bit more intense that one than the other two actually, which is surprising. You'd expect Cylon maybe to be a bit more intense than the mummy, but no, the, mum, the mummy is. That's my favourite out of the three. We need to find something for you now, Caroline. Yeah. And some food. It's 11 o'clock, so we've <laughs> yes. been here an hour and I've done the big done three rolls. Three, yeah. Some big dinosaurs, Caroline. Just a bit. Yeah. I can't even get them in. <laughs> We have come in the Discovery Food Court because there's inclement weather, so they've shut down all the rides for now. Perfect timing, actually, because we're hungry. I've not had any breakfast yet. We've picked up a misoro, some alu tiki, some sumai, a pint of Heineken, and a Coke Zero. And this, I'll show you the food in a second. It all came to 48.60, and that's after a 10% Mastercard discount. So if you're using a Mastercard, debit or credit, I'm using the Stalin card, you get 10% off. So just make sure you use that to pay and they give you a discount, which every little helps because it's quite expensive in here. Really, that came out in total about 28 pounds for all of that, which actually probably isn't that expensive for theme park food, especially if it's good quality and we'll, we'll find out. I'm gonna try your alo tiki. Not too bad. Would you like a bite? Like tiggery potato. Yeah. Yeah. Very powdery. And taste. there's the misodo, which is chicken, egg, and deep fried something. Maybe another egg. We'll find out. And then the sumai. I love sumai, so I hope these are good. Oh, a nice cold drink. So you're gonna try this without the sambal first to see what it's like. Yeah, let's try the noodles. What kind of noodles are they? They're quite thick ramen style noodles, yellow noodles. It smells really good. It tastes really good, it's a really nice flavour. Really nice flavour. I'm gonna take a bite out of one of those. Let's try one of these. All right. Is it like, it looks like a steamed, is it like a, what, like a Thank dumpling? You. Like a dumpling. It's like a, I think it might be one of your alu tiggies. It's like a mushy potato thing, that one. Same. It like, looks like, a, like, like some kind of dumpling. It's like mushy potato and veg. It's all right. The sauce, like the, the gravy in this is Do lovely though. you want to put some sambal in? Well, I want to try a um, sumai first. I love sumai at home. You do. They are heavy on the prawn. <clears throat> like it's really intense flavour of prawn in, the, in there. Right. I like. Quite fishy. Kind of, kind of like fishy, but like really, really intense flavour. Mm. So, so far, of all the food you've had so far and this. The, and the few days we've been here, I was going to say this is your best, I would say, by far. Yeah. By what you've said. Okay, right, try the sandbar, please. Try it without food. Spicy. I know. <laughs> it's nice though. It's like a caramelized onion type of stickiness as well. Yeah. Put it, I'll put it in here. spicy. I'll put it in. I mix it Good. around. I'll have all of this. I don't want to spoil the gravy though because it's really right, nice. Like this oh, beautiful. Get, nice. get this. Good. Thanks for the recommendation, Ange. 
Okay, Shaw's Adventures, go and check them out. They've got some Singapore vlogs as well as many other places in Asia. You've just done your first two rides. I have, and guess who got the wettest? You did, on the <laughs> River Adventure. I'd much prefer this River Adventure than the Orlando one. It's like a River Rapids. It was different, yeah. Different, much more. It's got a, that extra layer of thrill. The drop's a bit shorter, but you don't know if you go down backwards. It's quite, quite no. good. I think I prefer, the drop. I prefer the drop on this one because it was shorter, because obviously it upsets my stomach, but yeah. yeah. I can't kneel down on this ground too much. It hurts my knee. <laughs> and, you, and that first ride, the, can't, the dinosaur spin thing, that was all right. Yeah. But the river adventure, a lot of fun. Yeah, apart from you going up and down and trying to upset my stomach. And the way that they've got the boats in the river adventure is quite interesting as well because it's like three separate bits together and yeah, it's quite quite cool how they've done that. We enjoyed it. Now it's just time to dry off because I'm soaked to the bone. Yeah. I was a bit sneaky though because I wore my, um, Mac. my Mac on the top half but it's just all my lower half that's drenched. Should we head far, <laughs> far away? Yeah. Frog'll turn into a prince if I give him a kiss. <laughs> I could fancy some juice. What kind of juice do you want? I don't know what, what they do. What are those there? They're on, the They're on the bottom. Yeah, I've just ridden in Chandler Airways. That was fun. Little kids coaster. Ooh, oh. big dragon here. Yeah. And we're in a dragon. shop. Oh yeah, it's a big dragon. We're in a shop, show. It's a shop. Oh, hello Shrek. Where's the juices? I don't oh, there's know. a ride at the back. Have a line. Was it? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Oh, Universal Studios Singapore, we need a magnet. We'll have to get one of them. Yeah, always get a magnet. Look at that ride in the back of the shop. <laughs> a kid's little ride. <laughs> called the Portion Factory. Cool. Ah. Oh, look. One too close to Donkey. I'm behind you. <laughs> oh. Hi, Donkey. <laughs> Got some pussy ears. <laughs> Puss in boots ears. You don't want puss in your ears. Mm. Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. Nice yeah. and cool. Is that your size? Very. Probably. Just an XL. Oh, uh, it might fit. A universal globe. Oh, how much is that? 28 Singapore dollars for the globe. That's actually not that's bad. That's pretty cool, really. that actually. Consider getting this, Caroline. Yeah. Where would we put it? <laughs> I want juice. I came in here, I wanted juice. It obviously isn't what we thought it was, Sean. Really wanted to see this show. Let's go and see the 130 show. Join the queue. Yep. Hope it's good. Hopefully, hopefully so.
That was a brilliant show, well worth the years I've waited to see that. Brilliant. Why haven't they got that in Orlando? <laughs> yeah, go and, go and see Waterworld. If you're ever at a Universal Park that's got it, you, you need to go and see it because it's fantastic. Universal do really good shows actually. There's a couple more in this park I think we need to go and see as well. So you're going to do Puss and Boots coaster? Can oh. we get Caroline on a coaster? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll we see. will see, we will see. And then we've got a couple of shows and um, a snack to get. And me want cookie. <laughs> Are you the cookie monster? Yeah. <laughs> But right now, I'm giving out a couple of freebies, some free fortunes for telling. Oh, and I feel the energy pulsing from the crowd, yes! The force is very strong from this one. Oh, I'm getting a reading! I can sense that everybody here is very wet! Good, right? I had a premonition about the intense rain. I hope you all brought your umbrellas. I'll try it. You're gonna try it. But if it, what else is there that I can ride? Uh, Sesame Street. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Which we'll go and do. We'll walk all the way around and do that. I'll try it, but if I'm sick, it's your fault. <laughs> I don't think you'll be sick like that girl and the mummy. How was your ride on Puss's Magical, whatever it was? I've forgotten. <laughs> it was a little the Puss bit, and Boots ride. It was a little bit jerky. It was hurting my um, box I've got in my back. But yeah, I mean, otherwise it wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. What, apart from the jerkiness, um, I'm frightened of heights, so I just kept looking at the picture, like the statues and stuff, the yeah. animatronics and stuff. Um, we're not doing Shrek 4D because we've done that in, in yeah. the States and we're not doing that but we're going to head back around to Hollywood, New York area and see what there is there. Definitely, but yeah it wasn't as bad as what I thought it would be apart from being a bit jerky and hurting is it? and then the bit that sped up, I felt a bit sick on that. Yeah, I need a, I need a drink. I'm when it comes to rides. I need a drink, I'm dripping of sweat. It wasn't $3 for the soft drink, it was $5 which is still cheap. Um, it was $3, $3, $3 dollars for a refill if you buy the souvenir, souvenir cup. cup yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's head back around to Hollywood and New York area. Oh, we're going into ancient Egypt. They're tall. <laughs> Anything's taller than me. Be sick on that. <laughs> Bob City, Bob Central. It's no Bay. fun riding on your own either, so no. I'm not riding that. Oh, Transformers. I forgot about Transformers. We can ride Transformers, Caroline. Yeah. Bumblebee. Transformers the ride. Yeah. Should we do that then? On the way to. Can do. Before the next ride, it is time for a beer. Cold and refreshing, eh, babe? Tiger Crystal from the cart, 10 Singapore dollars, so that's about six pound. Something's happening. <laughs> Sean's going for the nasty cookie monster. I did tell him there was biscoff, biscoff ice cream though. Well, there's even nasty cookie monster ice cream. So the cookie is $7 by the look of it. 
that's Singaporean dollars. I'm not sure what that is in UK. Sean will probably tell you. I'm not sure of the exchange at the minute. Is this your first sweet treat since we've been here? Yeah. Me one. Oopsie. Get in my belly. Look at that. Warm as well. Oh. Dark chocolate inside. Dark chocolate inside. Ah, your tongue's blue. Nice. But that is definitely your first sweet treat since we've been here. You get your space chairs now then. Time to ride it. Help the Muppets. Yeah. No, not the Muppets, it's Sesame Street. I was going to say, <laughs> you, you, you Muppet. <laughs> Just did Sesame Street and that was a cute little ride, a bit like how Peter Pan goes round in Disney, that kind of concept ride, um, but yeah, we thought it was quite cute. Super cute, super cute. But now, lights, camera, action, we'll try this and this will be, I think this is our last thing. Yeah, because we served the spaghetti already. Yes, we have. Lights camera action was good. Sorry we couldn't film any of it, not loud, but it was really good fun. There's lots of characters dotted about here as well. I wonder how many others there have been throughout the day. Yeah, we might miss them when we're on rides and things. Maybe, maybe, because they all seem to be around like the New York area. Yeah. This top's very cooling <laughs> for my chubby body. Look at all these cars outside Mel. Well, you know, that's why. Right. At the moment, the park's not a circle, but there's Minions Lands being built. Yeah. Well, it would be a circle otherwise. Yeah. Like, Let's go get the magnet. I do really like that globe. I know you do. Oh, there's another one. A snow globe. Snow globe. That's cute. So what, where would we put this? I don't know, we haven't got enough room in the suitcases. Excellent. Yes, most excellent. Yes. You must be having a yoke. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're funny. Yeah, you're, you're yoking you. We're back here tomorrow for a night. That's heavy. It is heavy. Put popcorn in. Oh, yeah. his head moves. <laughs> 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 That's my birthday present to myself. Everywhere I go, I have to get a magnet. Twelve dollars. That was twelve dollars. So what's that in pounds? Seven quid, something like that. That brings our Universal Studios Singapore vlog to a close. We've had a really lovely day. It's been really good, yeah. If you like the other Universal parks, I think you'll probably like this one. It's quite small. There's some good rides. There's a couple of repeats, but that's fine. There's lots of different ones as well. Uh, there's a lot of good choice for food. Snacks are a little bit lacking, but food, food was good that we had. Yeah, it's fine. And the assistance and service and the disability stuff. That, that, it's been fantastic. They've been so helpful. Just nothing was a bother. Exactly what you need. Really good customer service, polite and really care and actually really just really helpful. We can't do enough for you. Yeah. It's been good. That's Universal Studios Singapore. Great value day out. Can you make a memory? Catch you later. <laughs>